What's up everyone? So I'm super excited that you want to learn how to convert your Facebook cover image into both desktop and mobile compatible. And it's super easy and I'm going to guide you exactly the steps on how to do it. So if you like what you hear, go ahead and subscribe, smash that like button, and please share this because I just want more people to be able to make money on social media or to just spread your brand awareness much more easy. Um, if you look at anyone who has a Facebook, if you kind of just we can just scroll through here. When you mouse over someone's profile, it shows their cover image and then a little, I guess, clip about them, kind of like how many friends they have, how many mutual friends are included. Sometimes it shows a bio, but sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on how many people. Um, but, I mean, if you look at some of these people's profiles, I mouse over Kevin uh, Christopher. He has a success business, how to explode your business by getting 30 more dream clients per month. Um, let's look at JD. Uh, he has just a computer. I have no idea what he does. So there's no reason to, I guess, follow him or kind of engage with him. I know what he does because I know he's a virtual assistant um, because I've talked to him uh, a few dozen times. But uh, yeah, uh, he definitely needs to change his uh, cover image. Um, I have uh, here, she's one of my money friends. I know that she is uh, actually using my software, which is my Facebook CRM, uh, to help make more money online, but uh, she hasn't gone through the training yet, and I will push her in that direction because obviously her cover image is not what it should be. Uh, I can just keep going down. Jackie. Uh, Jackie has a uh, a live event that's coming talking about organic traffic which I'm super excited about and uh, she pretty much has um, an upcoming event to talk about that so I know what she does uh, it's about organic traffic um, all sorts of fun stuff so that's that's great uh, let's keep going here Albert uh, another money friend of mine just like Jackie uh, he does professional website design he has marketing tools he has uh, a membership site, he does it all. He's just a, a social media guru. So that's, I mean, that's cool too. Uh, Renee, uh, it's time to start shattering the glass ceiling. Now's the time to be a goal crusher. Let's chat. So she's all about crushing your goals and, um, you know, just taking it, your income to that next level. So uh, uh, you guys get the point. Uh, I mean, I can go through a million of them, but your cover image is that important because now you know the first thing people see is when they mouse over you is your cover image and a picture of you. So if you can't capture someone's attention by your cover image right away, there's no reason why they should add you as a friend um, because they don't know what you do. So uh, now I'm going to get into actually how to set that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I use Canva and uh, it's a definitely a free tool. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, I do a lot of my um, artwork, I guess, or um, content creation through here, or curation through here. Uh, it's a super easy tool. I use the uh, upgraded version that's like, I think, $7 a month. It's super cheap. Uh, it gives you all sorts of different photos that you can use and templates. So I love, love it. But uh, this is my cover image, as you can see here. Um, let me show you right here. Same thing uh, for the text. I like this thicker text here, and that's just a XP Vasta, and um, I have it at a 70 point font. But before you get started, actually, uh, the sizes that you want to use um, are 2037 by 754. So um, this little um, It's 1037 by 754. And those are the pixels that you want to use um, right here. So that's super important to know. That's what you're going to use on your uh, cover image. And that's the pixels that you use when you decide to create your, um, your image. So to do that, so I'm getting a little distracted real quick. Um, so create a design, uh, and then you click custom images, and you just write 1037 by 754, and it will create that layout for you. Um, let me go back, 
and kind of show you the whole area that you need to focus on when it comes to mobile versus desktop. So this is optimized for both. Uh, if I go to a desktop, you'll have my little like, actually my little face here. So uh, let me actually do this again and highlight this and get a pen. And so like the mobile view looks more like this. And then you have your picture here. So that's kind of like your mobile view and the, the difference is people don't see this click here to get your bonus. Um, but I do have a call to action here, click here to get your superpower. Um, so on the mobile view, people can see that I definitely have a call to action and that they should click on it. Um, and then this is the best Facebook CRM on the market is covered by my picture in the mobile view, but on the desktop view where uh, it's not at all. So on the desktop view, uh, your image is more right here. So uh, desktop view, you see everything. You, you see the best Facebook CRM on the market. You see this full image. Uh, click here for a special bonus. And then um, you have all this. And then the desktop view or the mobile view, all you see is the superhero toolkit, attract your perfect audience. You see my superhero here. Click here to get a superpower. And then the best CRM on the market. So that's it, guys. That's how you create your uh, cover image to be both mobile and desktop compatible. Um, you just really need to focus on having everything in this top section here um, and making sure that it is mobile compatible by using those um, dimensions. And then it's that's really all it is. You can add extra stuff. Like I add extra stuff here in the, the side and down below just so I can fill up more room and so that people can um, have call to actions. Um, I have two call to actions here. I have a call to action here and then I have a call to action here by like obviously this. So um, I mean, that's really it guys. Uh, it's super easy to do. Like I said, the dimensions are 10, 20, 37 by 754. And uh, I just, like I said, use um, this font XP Vasta, which makes it look um, very bold and in your face. And then I uh, download it as a PNG. And that's about it. Super easy to do. I uh, hope you guys found this useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And go ahead and check the show notes if you're interested in my Facebook CRM. And make more money online. That's it, guys. Have a good one. I'll be making a video how to get organic traffic to your Facebook. So look out for that and be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Peace.